Hey guys and welcome to a mechanic gunsmith task guide, gunsmith part 13. For this task we're going to need to modify a MPX to have 60 or greater durability, 300 or greater sighting range, 52 or more ergonomics, weigh 4 kilos or less, has 250 or less recoil, have an AR-15 tactical dynamic gelatinized pistol grip, a AR-15 Yankee Hill Annihilator multi-caliber flash hider as well as the Stia last slash tack to tactical flashlight don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful so of course you're going to need to get started with the mpx now after that here in front of you is the full parts list you're going to need to grab yourself an ar-15 tactical dynamic skeleton lines pistol grip a tango down stubby bgv mk46k tactical grip the AR-15 Yankee Hill Annihilator Multi-Caliber Flash Hider and then the Steena Last Tac 2 Tactical Flashlight. So starting off we're going to need the MPX. We're going to head over to Peacekeeper and go to Tier 2. We're going to scroll down just a little bit and you can see it here for around about $400. What I'd recommend you do is if you are going to go through the flea market, you're going to need to make sure the condition is over 60 Press a little coggle right here and you can see where it says condition from 0 to 100. We're going to change this to 61 and you can see right here that it is only $400 from Peacekeeper himself. And make sure you get a full one, not a half broken one like this because you're going to need to get the front sight and the rear sight as well. Now what we're going to do is head over to Skier and go to Tier 3. Scroll down a little bit. This is where you're going to grab yourself the skeletonized pistol grip. It is a vase as well as three chainlets, so you can see that it's a little bit expensive, but it's worth it for the build. Then we're going to go to tier 2 with Skier and grab ourselves a Tango Down Stubby. Once we got this, we're going to head over to Mechanic, and we're going to need to go to tier 3. This is where you're going to grab yourselves the AR-15 Yankee Hill Annihilator Multi-Caliber Flash Silencer. You do need a TP200 for this, which is a TNT brick. It's awfully not expensive. And now for the final part, this is where you're going to either need to buy it on the flea market or, well, you've got no choice. You've got to buy it on the flea market or find it in raid, which is the Steeler Last Attack 2 Tactical Flashlight. Now, on the flea market, it can go awfully expensive at the start of white because it is a task item, but it does drop down awfully quickly. And now I'm going to show you how to build the gun. What you can do is take out the magazine and make sure there is no bullet in the chamber. You're going to take off the pistol grip as well as the MPX A2 muzzle brake. Let's throw everything onto the gun because it does come with these parts right here. Everything should just attach straight on. And here you go. This is the final build for Gunsmith Part 13. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna oh. say. <laughs> Hello. Yo, please turn off your hands, man. Here. I beg of you. You dead? Yeah, maybe we should see if we Oh, you're absolutely dead! <laughs>